Well, Leah, it's fantastic to see you. Congratulations. 200 appearances for Arsenal. That's incredible. Um, and I know that you always like to look forward, but today I think we've got to look back on, on some of these <laughs> moments. Firstly, tell me, tell me what is actually going on here? What's this? Uh, the nice slow-mo of my mum <laughs> filming me. <laughs> uh, we went on tour, it's my first season at Arsenal. We went on tour to Wales. We beat our under 12 on the tournament, just throwing that in there. Um, so what, you weren't an under 12? No, we were an under 10s team and they took both. We you just the played under in the, and you beat the under, the under 12s, yeah. <laughs> it was a good team, it was a strong team. <laughs> if you were a young Arsenal fan, it was like my dream. We used to get a bin bag at the start of the season, the kit, and I used to go home, my whole family come around the house like, Except for your dad, yeah, yeah, he's family. Like, <laughs> not interested in the slightest. <laughs> Kira, Emma. I didn't realise that they were your managers. Yeah, they just. I think like they came along to to help, and they did loads of different stuff. Mum put you guys in front of me. You guys were her heroes. You actually had role models to look up to, and then yeah. you played in the same team. Yeah, yeah, and that was my only. Like every year that we go past, I was like, commonly, I like need to make it in time that you guys didn't all like leave or retire. We or... purposely waited, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> just for me. <laughs> made my dreams come true. <laughs> and then captain in England. Back then, I was like, right, Leah, be responsible, you know, try and be mature. That's what you need to be if you're going to do this. <laughs> but all I've ever cared about whenever I've done it is just like mum and dad, like how proud that makes them standing watching. I just felt like I was then living all of our dreams at the same time, really. Dave, you <laughs> got us there. God, look at me. <laughs> all I ever wanted to do was be on the front row, first and foremost, because I was like, you're obviously sitting on the front row, you're, you're a big dog. So <laughs> that took me until about last year, I think, to get myself down there. To be fair, I'm surprised I'm at the front row. I was usually <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Yeah, this is David, day after my 17th birthday. Me and Mum had stayed in London and then we had a big night out planned and then I got the call up, like, yeah. you're in the squad, so cut it short, travelled straight from from London. I did come on for you, do you, do you know that? <laughs> you came on for yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's all I remember. Are you I serious? Think we were like two, I mean, I'm, I think I come on maybe You come like on left wing? 80, 88th minute. See, I knew we had this connection. <laughs> When she told me to go and warm up, I just kept tying my laces. I must have undone and tied them up three times. I thought, do you know what? I actually think I'd rather stay here. <laughs> I was so nervous. Really? That nervous? So nervous. I'd grown up literally thinking, I need to be in that team. Yeah. So then when I got there, I thought, I'm not actually sure I'm ready for this. Or what if I'm actually not good enough? Oh, look, a sister. Oh, I'll tell you what. Up. We're so, oh, we are so connected. <laughs> First goal for Arsenal. To be fair, even here, like, I'm obviously not chill. I've just scored my first goal for Arsenal. I'm just like... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, because I'm just trying to be cool. <laughs> like, that is no biggie. <laughs>
And then this one, WSL title. Oh, this is, oh, well, we scored the goal. I mean, the way we've been playing all season, I thought we're gonna, well, we have won it. Like, I know you shouldn't think like that, but I'm like, there's no way we're gonna lose. So from the minute go, I was crying, and at the really? end, I was crying yeah, again yeah. with my mum, my dad, my down. <laughs> just still crying all the time. Everything, every time something good happens to me, I'm just, <laughs> just Lovering. in tears. I feel a bit stupid when I watch it because I'm like, Leah, why are you crying? But I don't know, I think it makes me me. First time you've, uh, you captain Arsenal. That must have been a bit of a dream, captain. That, that yeah. to me is like... You're, you're a child. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, all I ever see it as is me being a servant to the club. My grandma is like, you play for Arsenal. You know, it's not the other way around. So to get yourself into a position where they think you're like important enough to the team that yeah, you actually yeah. lead somebody out, I'm like, okay, I'm doing enough. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. this is enough. Crying again. Crying again, there we go. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. If, so if Leah starts crying, we know we've won yeah, It's a good it's thing. Good, it's good. <laughs> be named as England captain, that must have just been mad pride. I think it's something that somebody tells you you're ready for. Yes. It's not something that you put yourself forward for. Yeah, somebody says, yeah, I'd yeah. like you to do this and I think you can do this, so then you either decide if you think you can deliver well, it's it. good because they believe in you. you yeah, know, it's, you know it's, what I mean? you it's feel lovely. You feel valued to that. Again, like bringing my mum and my dad, that's all I cared about, because to ring mm -hmm. them and say, the last tournament, they travelled to France seven times, I played six minutes, yeah. you know what I mean? So then for me to be leading my country out, them to sit in the stand and have this whole new experience, I just it was just incredible to share it with them. That's why I'm so happy we won, because it was here. I've never picked up something and like loved it before. Yeah. Like I, I didn't want to give that back. <laughs> really? Yeah, like I was... <laughs> I was proper in awe of it. I thought this is lovely. Like I'm, I'm really, really happy. I wouldn't with say myself. you get your hands on the World Cup, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I do, I, mate, I'll probably retire. I'll Just probably say, I'm done. Yeah. Now. yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Obviously, Euros was huge, but but to play at the Emirates against Tottenham, record yeah. crowd. I mean, what was that like? What Leah Valti said to me before the game. She was like, "This must be." This must be bigger for you than England because it's like it's it's right, your okay. club, yeah, like yeah. it's your day to day, it's your bread and butter. And I sat with it and I thought, okay, not sure you can top the summer, but in terms of like, yeah. when I actually thought about it, I was like, this is incredible. This is everything. When my dad said to me when I was younger, one day, Leah, this will be your job for me to be standing. I don't know. I just think it's it's mad that I'm so lucky. I don't know, I'm lucky in 200 appearances and I've been injured quite a bit as well, so it probably <laughs> should have been a lot more. <laughs> For me, I think it's been fantastic uh, watching you play and then watching you grow as a person. I remember when we went to I have a no pre idea what you're tour. Say. No, a pre season tour in Spain, and you was kind of like, I want to play in midfield. <laughs> <laughs> and you played at the back. And yeah. I remember speaking to you afterwards and saying, like, you could be the best defender. He was like, I want to be a midfielder. It was like, seriously. Seriously, <laughs> like, You up. can play midfield, but you can be us. Like, I, I think you were just, you just played. You just, so natural, so natural. So, 200 caps, I wait for 400. <laughs> I keep watching. <laughs> yeah, I do my best. <laughs> thank you, mate. No, thank you. Appreciate it.